There's another city in Switzerland named Geneva. And probably the most influential man at the Reformation was teaching there. John Calvin. So probably if you said who's the most influential man in European history that influenced Taiwan, you might Say John Calvin was. So if you ask, that time, ah, influenced the world, the most influential man, he was also the most influential Taiwan man. Who? 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 Also, he introduced the idea of the church is independent from the civil government. That he also found, um, he he also found a new, new, new scripture tells us that the church is independent from the civil government. That they 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 cooperate, but there's separate power. 啊，教会跟政府是彼此互相合作，但他们的权利是互相独立的。And that was the foundation for the idea of freedom of religion。所以啊，所谓宗教自由的概念，也就是从教会跟政府是各自独立的权利这样的概念而来。And, and there are a lot of theological points that he, he also taught。那约翰加尔文他也教了很多非常重要的神学观念。His teaching was most influenced in、um, The Netherlands and in Scotland and the United States. That Jarwin, his philosophy, his teaching, for three countries, Scotland, Scotland, and the United States, had the most influence. But as far as Northern Europe, the teacher that had most influence in Northern Europe was Martin Luther. Ah, just like Martin Luther, he had the most influence in Northern Europe. Ah, just like Martin Luther, he had the most influence in Northern Europe. Ah, just like Martin Luther, he had the most influence in Northern Europe. In Germany, Martin Luther, he later, uh, in Germany, he became a teacher. He started off studying law. I'm going to briefly tell you about his story. His background is he started off studying law. I'm going to briefly tell you about his story. His background is he started off studying law. I'm going to briefly tell you about his story. And one day he was traveling, and he he was struck by lightning, almost struck by lightning. That one time, Martin Luther, he was traveling, and he was struck by lightning, almost struck by lightning. And so.、Um, Yeah, that's a modern style drawing, I see. <laughs> and you can imagine if you almost get in a car accident or get really sick and and almost die,、um, the kind of thoughts that go through your head. Ah, 或许你有没有类似的经验，就是如果你生重病或出了严重或差点在电动车祸里面死掉，你可能会开始想一些重要的事情。Um, but the lightning strike made Martin Luther think about death. And eternity, and those kind of things. That 差点被雷打到的经验让马丁路德开始思考死。And he did, he decided to commit himself to the church. 他决定他要更多的投入教会。That made his father very mad because he wanted his son to be a lawyer. 然后让他爸爸非常不爽，因为他爸希望他当律师。A lot of young folks today, I think, feel so healthy and strong that they don't think about death. Or what comes after death, an eternal, the state of eternal. That today, many young people feel that their body is healthy and strong, so they don't think about death or the future. They act like they're going to live forever. They show that 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 they're going to live forever. His biggest issue, he realized he had done bad things in his life. He realized that one of the most important things was that he had done bad things in his life. He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? He was thinking, how can I deal with my sins? Monk, monk. Oh, 就就像很多修士会做的事情。And also,、uh, he tried to do good things. 他他努力的行善。And also, I don't know if you've seen a donkey in Taiwan. 在台湾有看过鸡吗 ？Sometimes they beat themselves to try to get their god to give them a message. 
Martin Luther beat himself to try to make to purge out his sins from his life. And Martin Luther one time had to take a trip to Rome on business. And he saw there's like all these ways you, you can do things to deal with your sin in, in the Roman capital. He also saw how wealthy the church in Rome was. So one thing they would do was would be pray to saints. Or they would pray to a bone taken from the saint's grave. You can, you can see this guy is more wealthy dressed when he's dead than when he was alive. Right? The most expensive things were putting on those things. And if you wanted to go and pray to that saint, sometimes you'd have to give money. Um, they also would, instead of worshiping God or Jesus, they would worship uh, Mary. So you can see um, that Jesus is portrayed as a little kid. And Mary is portrayed as this big person. And they began to focus their worship on Mary. It's almost like they think, I can't get close enough to Jesus, but if I get Mary on my side, she'll help me with the judge of the earth. And they also use, they also use uh, these beads, just like you see Buddhists do. And they had all these ways of praying to Mary to, to help you with your merit. Maybe you're seeing some similarities with traditions in Asia too, right? When he, when he came back, he started questioning things. There has to be something else. He, he said there must be something else. This is, doesn't seem right. There must be another way to deal with your sins. He said the most important thing that influenced him was reading one book in the Bible called the book of Galatians. And this is a verse that influenced him. You can't be justified by the works of the law, but by faith. And so he started studying this question about justification. He became a professor at Wittenberg University, that's that town there. And he, he had a job uh, also the preacher of the local church in the town. Um, this is when he moved here, this is when he got into trouble with the emperor and the in the uh, Roman Catholic Church. He got in trouble, had trouble with people. When he moved here, at that time he started getting into trouble with the church. And this is how it started. I'll tell you how this event started. You know what this is, right? Everybody in Elon knows that it started in Elon, right? Every time there's a village event, the group would come and do a performance, right? 
You know what this is? This was from the Manila Philippines. This is from Manila. From 400 years ago. Uh, it's not in Mandarin. Uh, a researcher in about 50, or maybe 20 years ago, discovered some text that had been collected and realized this is not Mandarin, this is uh, like Taiwanese. So, 400 years ago, they were publishing um, the plays that they were going to perform. They were publishing the plays, how the lines to sing that they were going to perform 400 years ago. 400 years ago, the, the, the opera troupe also printed the lines of what they were going to say. I think this black area means different people speaking. The same thing was going on in Europe. There were traveling people in plays. And they also came through Wittenberg. Where Martin Luther was. Um, but there's a different topic for the place. Can you see what's what's there on the on the picture? There's there are these devils, these bad guys. And and these people fighting against them, right? A lot of them illustrated what happens to you after you die. Um, you can actually, if you go down to Kaohsiung and the, there's a Foguangshan temple where you can see all the different hells, right? And particularly, they would, the, they would use a play to say, this is what's happening to your dead ancestors, your mother that died or your grandfather that died right now. And they would say, this is what's going to happen to you. Unless you give some money. And we will give you this certified note from the Pope that says, when you die, you're not going to have to go through this. Like any good pastor, Martin Luther saw that and said, that's not right. They're taking money from all these poor people and they're teaching them false things. So he posted on October 31st, 1517, he posted 95 points of why the Roman Catholic Church was wrong about doing these kind of things. His, his concern was donating money is not enough to deal with the problems you have. It doesn't help you at all. The Roman Catholics Church at that time, their concern was, we need to raise money to build our beautiful, beautiful buildings in Rome. So because of the printing press, people started printing what Martin Luther wrote and spreading it around. And, and of, of course that made the Pope very angry because he's losing money. And Martin Luther got summoned by the emperor and had to defend himself of what he was saying. So he stood up against the two most powerful people in Europe, the Pope and the Emperor. So let, let me take a, a few minutes to tell you a question, answer to a question I often get.
。那我让我现在回答你一个问题，就是我常被问到的。Um, what is the difference between Roman Catholics and Protestants? Taiwanese ask me this all the time. Um, and there are a lot of things, but I'll give you four main differences. The first is the Roman Catholics say that the Pope is the head of the church. Protestants say no, he's just another pastor. Uh, the second is the Roman Catholics say Mary has a very special place, almost like a goddess. And you notice one of the hospitals in Lodong is named after Mary. The Protestants say no, Mary was just another Christian that God used. Just gave her a special purpose. And Protestants say all people are all Christians are saints, not just a special few. Remember we talked about the Bible being printed. And before that, people couldn't read the Bible. The Roman Catholic Church said that church teaching and church tradition was almost more important than the Bible. Is there a problem? And the. Um, the Protestants say that the Bible is God's word and it's more important than any other book. And all of those three things led to probably the most important disagreement. Justification. I don't know if the Chinese word uh, makes sense or not. But it's how can you be saved from your sins or from hell? So I'm going to show you a few, just a few places that influenced the thinking of the reformers in the Reformation. So the first one, I'll read it in Chinese. The first one, I'll read it Very different. And this idea was put into a, a poem um, that some people even sing today. I don't know if you've ever heard this poem. So nothing, there's nothing I can bring. I just cling to the cross. I have no clothes to wear. I need grace. Uh, Jesus has to wash me. That's the idea. You can just read the so, in the original picture on our flyer, it talks about those Latin words. One of the Latin words is only by faith. There's no way you can save yourself. I think this is very different from other religions, and this was clearly taught in the Reformation. And I'll tell you one other verse that influenced the teaching. 
那我告诉你，呃，另外一个圣经的经文跟这个教导密切相关。How it influenced it?、Um, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, that we might in him become the righteousness of God. 上帝使他无罪的替我们成为罪，好叫我们在他里面成为神的义。So they say that when Jesus died on the cross, he traded places and gave other people his righteousness and took the sin of other people and suffered their punishment. 啊，所以当耶稣他被钉死在十字架上的时候，他跟我们，他跟罪人交换的地位，原本是罪人该承受的刑罚、咒诅，耶稣代替我们承担了。而耶稣他自己完美无缺、完全圣洁的生命，就就好像归算在罪人的身上，让他们能够被上帝接纳。So Martin Luther said, "There's paying money to these traveling people. It doesn't help you at all." 所以马丁路德跟那时候人说：“你们付钱给这些巡回剧团根本就没有用，不能帮助你们。” But his teaching started to change the whole society. 但是马丁路德他所教导的圣经啊，那阴性称义的教义就开始传遍了整个地方。One more thing about Germany. One more thing about Germany. 关于德国，我再讲一件事情。Do you know who that is? 你知道是谁吗 ？This.、Um, After the Reformation in Germany, this composer Bach. Ah, he in the Reformation after this is a composer called Bach. Um, he would write at the bottom of every single sheet of paper. Um, he would write at the bottom of every single piece he composed. He would write those three Latin words at the bottom: "Soli Deo Gloria." He would write at the bottom of every single piece he composed. He would write those three Latin words at the bottom: "Soli Deo Gloria." He would write at the bottom of every single piece he composed. That is one of the slogans from the Reformation. It says, "Only to God's glory." That is also in the Reformation's banner. That one sentence is one of the Latin words. The meaning is, "Only to God's glory." Now, how did the Roman Catholic Church respond to these reformers? The Roman Catholic Church responded to these reformers. 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 And they condemned all this teaching. And,、um, but also, and, and there was a group called the Jesuits that was started at that time. And they were responsible for a lot of the attacking and persecution of the reform reformers. The Jesuits were responsible for a lot of the persecution of the reformers. That this Jesuit group, they actually participated in a lot of the attacks on the reformers. But some of the other Jesuits who were there, they were actually persecuted. 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 那最近有一部电影就是在讲这个，那他在台湾拍，那他是讲当时的天主教传教到日本的事情。So, actually, the Reformation influenced the Roman Catholic Church too to be more active、um, in this way instead of just getting money like they used to. 所以宗教改革某个程度也影响了当时的天主教，让他们不是只是守在自己的地方，而是更多的去别的地方去传教，因为他们。Uh, instead of just for doing things for money. Okay, 不不只是不只是拿钱，而是做除了钱之外更多的事情。So I'm going to go on to the the countries that influenced were influenced by the Reformation and influenced the、uh, Taiwan. 那我要再来介绍另外一个国家是被宗教改革很大的影响，然后也很大的影，这个国家也很大的影响。